Today we will be considering whether or not it is a good idea to use scorpions to eliminate black widow spiders from one's house. We are referring to scorpions the bug, not scorpions the rock band. In a previous video we showed how the more dangerous bark scorpion easily neutralized the threat posed by a black widow spider. But can a relatively harmless scorpion accomplish the same thing? The use of naturally occurring predators to eliminate unwanted, or even dangerous, pests from your house, is not a new idea. In many parts of the world, natural forms of pest control are favored over the more modern methods using harsh chemicals or mechanical traps. Please do not try this at home, unless you are a trained professional. Both black widow spiders and scorpions can pose a threat to people, pets, and your local ecosystem. This video is for educational and informational purposes, please do not mistakenly perceive it any other way. In many regions, both scorpions and black widows reside in close proximity to one another, and therefore interaction between them is common. Even though these videos are filmed in a controlled environment, the results are essentially the same as if they were filmed in the wild. Hadrocerus anensis is the largest scorpion in North America. It can grow to be five and a half inches long. Its large size allows it to eat everything from small insects and spiders, up to lizards, snakes, rodents and even other scorpions. Hadrocerus anensis uses its crab-like pinches to catch and securely grasps its prey, and then immobilizes the prey with a sting from its venomous tail stinger. Hadrocerus anensis a fairly common scorpion found in the deserts of the American Southwest and Northern Mexico including the Mojave Desert in Southern California and Baja California, the Colorado Desert, and parts of Nevada, Utah, and Arizona. The sting of this scorpion is relatively mild, and compared to being stung by a honeybee, but as will all types of venom, there is the potential for an allergic reaction. An allergic reaction to its venom can cause the sting to be fatal. General symptoms of an allergic reaction are intense, pain, extreme swelling, and trouble breathing, if any of these occur, seek medical help immediately. One of the big problems with stings in general, is unless you have been stung in the past, you will not know if you are allergic to its sting or not. Additionally, just because you were not allergic in the past, it does not mean that you are not presently allergic to it. This is also the case with bees, wasps, hornets, and yellow jackets. So it's a good rule of thumb, to treat all scorpions as dangerous, because they are all potentially dangerous depending on what results from its sting. Generally, scorpions are nocturnal hunters. But that does not stop them from hunting or being active in the daylight hours, as we can clearly see here. The scorpion can strike with both speed and precession. But the black widow spider is also capable of very fast attacks since they both have very different hunting and fighting styles when facing each other it can make for a very dramatic display since they share the same habitat these two predators routinely face each other in the wild the difference here is that the black widow is currently out of the safety of her web ultimately we see that the black widow spider is no match for the speed of this scorpion and therefore the scorpion prevails in this matchup you might be asking yourself if this was a fair matchup or not. The answer is yes and no, but not for the reasons you may be thinking. As for the fairness of this, the goal is not to find a worthy competitor for the black widow spider, but the goal in fact is to find a natural predator of the black widow spider. But are the results we've seen here, the result that happens each time they face each other, or are these simply the results of a single test, a one-off incident, so to speak? Further testing is required to answer that. And so we have now just set ourselves up for another video. You see what I just did there? Please do not try this at home unless you are a trained professional. Both black widow spiders and scorpions can pose a threat to people, pets, and your local ecosystem. This video is for educational and informational purposes. Please do not mistakenly perceive it any other way. In many regions, both scorpions and black widows reside in close proximity to one another, and therefore interaction between them is common. 
Even though these videos are filmed in a controlled environment, the results are essentially the same as if they were filmed in the wild. Many of our videos are filmed in various locations around the world. When traveling, we fly Alaska Airlines and Alaska Air Partners. Worldwide we stay at Hilton Hotels and Resorts, while in Hawaii we stay at Hilton Hawaiian Village and the Doubletree Alana Honolulu. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting this channel by subbing, and by liking and thumbing up this video. Thanks for watching, and as always keep being you.